the next one you got there, monkey? It's some well, this one, interestingly, this one tied into your last article in a way. Yeah, yeah. So it says, a study, older patients respond well to medical cannabis treatment. Wow, that's that's a, you know, who would ever thought this? You know, saw that article, is like, that's pretty common sense, but it fit in really well with Mackey's. It said, a recent observational study published in the Journal of Drugs and Aging found that older patients who are prescribed medical cannabis products report experiencing better health and well-being after consuming cannabis, normal reports. It says, researchers collected data from cannabis patients in the United Kingdom, including self-reported quality of life assessments, general health assessments, mood analysis, and sleep assessment using the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index. Researchers looked at specifically at a cohort of patients age 65 and older relative to younger individuals. Most of the patients uh, participating in the study were, were prescribed cannabis for chronic pain, the report says. These findings, according to a growing body of observational and real world evidence from jurisdictions that have legalized medical cannabis, that cannabis is effective for improving sleep, mood and quality of life across multiple primary conditions, the author said in the statement. There were significant improvements across all measures of well-being, the authors noted, noting that younger patients outranked the, the patient's 65 plus cohort in only in terms of sleep improvement. So basically, they, this is a, is a new study that came out that's saying if you're using cannabis, if you're older and you're using cannabis, you're going to get a lot of help in it to, from it, like pain reduction, better sleep, uh, mood, anxiety, reduction of anxiety, uh, lots yeah, of things like that. You're going to be a lot cooler, too. Yeah, 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 man. You know, you got walk around with that joint hanging out of your mouth. Look really cool, huh? <laughs> this has got to be an important thing. You think about that age, right? Am I still cool? You know? Yeah. But, I mean, we've, we've <laughs> seen many, not. many reports over the years that talk about, you know, the biggest uh, growing market right now in, in cannabis is, is the older populations. These are people who may have experienced in their youth, may have not, who knows, and are just going back to it or maybe just looking for something different. And, you know, as somebody who uses cannabis for medical reasons, I have to say that it, it is definitely, in my opinion, the least uh, intrusive into my life. It, it gives me the relief, but it, mm -hmm. it doesn't give me, you know, like opioids, you feel kind of half high half, half the time. It messes with your stomach. You can't sleep right. Cannabis doesn't do these things for me. So mm -hmm. I choose cannabis because it's more natural. It makes me feel like I'm normal again. So, yeah, yeah. And this is why it's illegal. Because we're normal. <laughs> they don't want us to be normal. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They want us normal. to be reliant on their shit. Yeah, man, I don't want to do that. You know, relying on everybody all the time. I want to be independent. I want to grow my own medicine. I want to know where it comes from. I want to know what went in it. That's me. So. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing, you know, uh, I don't take a lot of other medicines. I use cannabis and I have, because of talking to Dr. Grinspoon, I definitely tell my doctors all the time that I use cannabis because they're going to know this. They're going to know it really, really well for me like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're amazed to find out that that's all I take. Nothing yeah. else, nothing, no, no blood pressure, no cholesterol, no pain, no nothing, not even mm -hmm. an aspirin. Like, how do you do it? It's like easy. You just do it. Yeah. Like this. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you gotta just open your mouth and eat that gummy. That's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it's crazy. But yeah, if you're an older uh, older person and, and you think you might need a little bit of help with sleep or anxiety or something, consider cannabis. I'm not saying do it right away, but consider it. You yeah, know, yeah. Try it. It, uh, it helps a lot of people. For sure. Man. Including me. Imagine these people who have been you know they're hitting their 60s and they've been listening to how bad cannabis is for 40 50 years never tried it and then they use it for medicine like oh my god this actually fucking works you know like how pissed off in, you'd be it's ah. like that lady in your article that says you know the first time she tried it the pain went away immediately it's like yep that's exactly right when you first mm -hmm. experience it for the very first time it changes your life yeah man. because you you really don't i mean I, I'm speaking from experience. I have back pain and I uh, bought it for years and years and years and years and years. And somebody uh, went to a dispensary out in the West and somebody in that dispensary recommended edibles. And I swear the next day I woke up and I had no more back pain. And this is oh. how I've been ever since. So yes, this stuff absolutely works. Hey, Why is it cheaper? Oh, Even yeah. if you mm -hmm. buy it like the expensive way, it's so much cheaper than a lot of pharmaceuticals. 
Man, it is. You grow it. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty five cents a gram, you know, or, or even less than that, you know, whatever. Even at a, even at a dollar a gram, it's still way cheaper than buying it. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you for the full show on Sundays on YouTube.com/slash High on Homegrown. Thanks for watching.